In this video, we're going to take a look at mixture problems where we're given the final amount. What we'll find is the process that we go through to solve these is exactly the same as we saw before. We'll start by defining the variables. So we know what the variable represents as we solve, and use that to make an equation for the amount of stuff we're working with, and also an equation that talks about how the mixture is created. So if a chemist needs to create 100 milliliters of a 38% acid solution, this is the final goal. This is the final solution. On hand, she has 20% and 50% that are going to be mixed together. So again, we've got some type of amount. We're going to add in A and B, and together we'll get some total. So we're going to do A is the amount we start with. B is the amount added. And T is going to be the amount total that we end up with. Now, percentage-wise, we're told that the two solutions we start with, not the final, but A and B, the amount we start with and add, are 20% or 0.2 and 50% or 0.5. The final amount, we're told, is 0.38. And again, to check this, uh, the final amount should be somewhere in between the amount we started with. 38 is between 20 and 50. That's a good thing. We're also told, though, that the 100 milliliters is the total amount. So we don't need a variable for the final amount. We know what it is. So we're going to use 100. We don't even need the T. So let's see if we can come up with a couple equations then. For the amount of stuff, we started with A, we added to it B, and we ended up with 100 of stuff, 100 milliliters of stuff. Now, for the mixture, we have to multiply the variable, how much stuff, by the percent that is acid in this case. So A needs to be multiplied by the 20%, or 0.2. That tells us the acid in there. Plus B needs to be multiplied by the 50%, or 0.5. That tells us the amount of acid there. To get the total acid, we need to take the 100 and multiply it by the percent that is acid, the 0.38. And now we have something that we can solve. Let's get rid of the A's by multiplying both sides by negative 0.2. When we do this, we get negative 0.2a minus 0.2b equals 100 times negative 0.2 is negative 20. The second equation is still the same, 0.2a plus 0.5b equals 100 times 0 0.38, 38. So we can now add these together. The a's are gone. We get 0.3b equals 18. Divide by 0.3, and we'll find out that B is equal to 18 divided by 0.3, or 60 milliliters. Still need to find the other solution, though. We can find the other solution by going back to our original equation here. We are told that A plus B equals 100. A plus B, we just found out is 60, has to equal 100. By subtracting 60, we can find out real quick that A is equal to 40. So we've got 40 of the A, 20%, 40 milliliters at 20%. We've got 60 of the B, 60 milliliters at, B was at 50%. Mix this together, and we'll end up with that 100 milliliters of a 38% acid solution. Let's try another example, kind of like it. Here we have a coffee distributor who is trying to mix some coffee, whoops, mix some coffee together. 
normally sells for eight ninety a pound, another coffee that sells for eleven sixteen a pound. These are what are being mixed together. We want to know how many pounds of each do we need to get fifty pounds that sells for nine eighty five. That's the goal. Notice that's the final solution. So when we set up our mixture, we've got the amount we start with, A, B is the amount we add to it, and then T, our total, is the amount total. So let's fill in what we know. We're given the price of the starting coffee. It starts at eight ninety. We're also going to add to it coffee that sells for eleven sixteen. The total combination is going to sell for nine eighty five. Again, that is between the other two numbers. That's a good thing. We're also told that fifty pounds is the total amount we're going to end up with. So we don't need the T. We know that's fifty. So let's make some equations. For the amount, we started with A, we add to it the B, and we ended up with a total amount of fifty. To find out how much money this is going to generate, we're going to multiply each amount by the money that we get for each one. So the A's get multiplied by eight ninety or eight point nine A. The B's need to be multiplied by eleven sixteen to get the amount of money found in the B's. Equals the fifty times the nine point eighty five. We now have something we're ready to solve. Well, first equation, multiply by negative eight point nine. It'll clear out the A's. So we end up with negative eight point nine A minus eight point nine B equals fifty times eight point nine is going to give us four forty five. Negative, because that was a negative, right? Second equation, still eight point nine A plus eleven point sixteen B equals whatever fifty times nine point eight five is, which is four ninety two point five. Add these together, the A's are gone. Combining the B's together, we end up with two point twenty six B's is equal to negative four forty five plus four ninety two point five is I'm getting something wrong here four forty five four ninety two point five forty seven point five there we go. And finally, to finish solving, we just have to divide by the two twenty six. And we have our B alone is negative, oops, sorry, not negative, just positive, twenty one point oh one and stuff. Well, how about we round this? Let's round and say B is twenty one about. And in real life, the numbers aren't going to always come out nice, so it's okay to round to get twenty one. We also know that A plus B has to add up to fifty. So A plus twenty one has to add up to fifty. Subtracting twenty one from both sides, and we get A is equal to twenty nine. So A is twenty nine pounds at eight ninety. B we said was twenty one pounds, and the price on B was eleven sixteen. And we have our final solutions. Define the variables, an equation for the amount, an equation for the mixture, and solve the system of equations.